Greetings! Just here on a beautiful sunny June day at the beach, the mouth of the Windchuck River. And this is the southernmost coastal river in the state of Oregon. It's just off Highway 101 and just over the border from California. There's a welcome center and a travel center and such, and you can go say hi to the people who run the tourism kiosk. Apparently there's Wi-Fi there too. But there's little paths you can walk right over to the river or the beach and see the mouth of the windchuck. There's a little parking area over there. You can see a couple cars. It's not wild in any way, but there are ants, so what the heck. There's all this driftwood. It's really cool. There's so many interesting wood patterns to look at and sort of shapes. It almost looks like a limb of a prehistoric animal or something. Or, and of course, there's the fun of hopping across the, the sea of it all from log to log. But you can see people have made little shelters like this one kind of over there. Some people walking their dogs on the other side. But there's always wind at the beach. And here on the coast, it's always cold wind, usually out of the north. Today, it's not so bad. It's kind of coming out of the west or southwest. Might be able to hear the breeze. Oh, you got to really be careful walking through here. It's super treacherous. All these things are sort of just resting in place and they shift all over the place. But if you're nimble footed like a sandal and barefoot walkers, you're probably not going to have a problem. But check this thing out. People have gone through a lot of trouble to build shelters to get out of the wind. You can see this one here. It's quite extensive. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, there's trash left, but see, they've laid down flat pieces, so there's a flat place to be. I'm trying to get some wind protection because it's normally just so terrible. It's one of the reasons I don't want to live on the coast. Because I lived on the coast for a number of years, and boy, am I tired of being wet and cold and windy. And even on sunny, beautiful days like this, you'll have that north wind where it's 55 degrees outside and blowing 35 out of the north, and it's unpleasant. But today is lovely. So we hop across over here. I'm just trying to get over to the beach part. But there's a lot of driftwood piled up here, which is not surprising for a river mouth. And there's lots and lots of people. It's obviously as a travel center and so forth and tourist center. There's a lot of tourists and travelers that are stopping off. This is it. This is the last river before the border, which is basically right. You're looking what you're looking at. Those rocks in the distance are actually at the... Uh, first sort of, uh, I guess, civilization you would find on the other side of the border, which is the, the Talua village, uh, the Talua Nation village there. I don't remember the name of it, unfortunately, but it's north of the town of Smith River, but the town of Smith River isn't actually on the Smith River. The mouth of the Smith River is just on the other side of those rocks out there. And uh, so it's kind of interesting. The town of Smith River is on a creek called Rowdy Creek. I don't know why the town isn't called Rowdy Creek, but what the heck, it's close enough to the Smith River, I guess. But there in that little sort of uh, village, you'll find a casino and gas stations and all the amenities you might want just on the other side of the border if you're going to go into California. And I have shown you the mouth of the Smith River there, the northernmost river mouth in California. So I've shown you the southernmost river in Oregon on the coast and the northernmost river in California on the coast. interesting sort of rocks to see. The sea stacks of Oregon are really pretty too. But if you've never been here, it's really pretty. Let's just jump down here and see how cold the water is. Nice clear water coming out of the mountains. There's very little development upstream. It's actually pretty warm. That's not bad. Ooh, that feels good. It's a really, really warm day. Just loading up this morning to leave. I was sweating like crazy. It's always these cool layers in the sand with the patterns and little spills coming off and you can make your own spill and see how it plays out. What would happen if I moved that rock? Oh no, it's not going to move. The whole thing's got to move. What happens? Oh, you never know. This rock's got to go though. Oh, it didn't do much. It's always funny to see people hiking along here and knocking these down and it does no harm. The beach reforms them so don't worry about it. It's not like you're damaging the environment somehow and there's always agates hiding in it though. Look at that pretty one there. That's cool looking. That's not an agate, but it's just a cool beach rock. Now there's no shortage of places to beach comb and pick rocks and skip stones and get out of the wind and enjoy some sun. Lovely little river mouth. 
and it usually doesn't have a million people at it, I find, so. But uh, I think that's more than enough for now at the mouth of the Winchuck River here. I want to thank you very much for joining us here. So enjoy these perfect, perfect sky, sunny skies with June weather. Beautiful beaches and clear water. And as you saw earlier, as always, ants.